Prince William and Prince Harry have both announced upcoming books, the latest instance of a scheduling conflict between the brothers, a royal expert suggests. Royal expert Katie Nichol has said that their announcement may indicate a battle for the spotlight. The Duchess of Cambridge has also announced a photography book, Hold Still, focusing on the pandemic in the UK. It came out days before the Duchess of Sussex revealed her children's book, The Bench. I don't think Meghan and Harry feel a sense of competition with William and Kate because what they are doing is so different and so separate now, however, you do get the sense there is a bit of a battle for headlines, Ms Nicole told Nine Honey. And I think we saw that when just as the announcement comes out that Kate was publishing her hold still book we hear that Meghan is publishing her first children's book. Even though they are out of the royal household and separate from the royal machine now, you do still see a bit of a conflict when it comes to scheduling and you sort of sometimes feel like there is a bit of a battle for the headlines between the two couples. Both want to have the spotlight shined on the things that matter to them and sometimes there is a bit of a scheduling conflict when it comes to those headlines. Prince Harry is writing his memoirs in collaboration with Penguin Random House and dropped the bombshell announcement on Monday. The same week, William made his own announcement. He will write an introduction for the book Earthshot, How to Save Our Planet. Harry's first transcript was expected to be handed in next month but the Duke delayed it following the birth of second child Lilibet. The memoir is said to include the prince's highs and lows. In a statement, Harry said, In writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. He announced the memoir will be wholly truthful. William's book will highlight the planet's environmental challenges and offer inspiring solutions. The Earthshot concept is simple, we have 10 years to turn the tide, 50 ingenious ideas, and one goal, to save our planet co-authors Colin Butfield and Johnny Hughes told Harper's Bazaar. What we need is action and optimism. Our book reaches from the coral reefs of Mexico, via palm oil plantations in Borneo and sheep farms in Australia, to the forests of Kenya. It's an explanation of how we've got to this point, and how, by acting collectively, we can fix it.